What's happening guys, it's Cooper Carter here for G66 and on this week's Fractal Friday, I'm going to show you a very simple, very straightforward workflow for reamping with the Axe 3 and the FM9. So last week on Fractal Friday, I showed you guys a very simple workflow for recording a DI or the signal coming right out of your guitar alongside the fully processed signal that you're recording out of your Axe 3, FM9, or FM3. Now I consider this a best practice for recording guitar because it always comes in handy to have a DI. If you guys missed that video, do make sure to check it out. It's in the link below in the description and you guys can see just how easy it is to capture that DI. Now, one of the benefits of having a DI recorded is that if you decide that you don't like your tone later or it's not working in the mix or you want to add an effect, you can simply reamp your tone using that DI. And I'm going to show you guys a very simple workflow right now for reamping using the Axe FX3 or the FM9. For the FM3, it's a little bit different of a procedure and I can cover that in a future Fractal Friday. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are in Reaper, which is my DAW of choice when I'm recording with a Fractal product. You may be using a different DAW, but the workflow here is going to be very much the same. I've got three tracks here, a rhythm guitar part that I've recorded. A little lead that I've recorded here. and the DI that I recorded alongside that lead. Now, if I want to go ahead and use that DI to reamp or re-record the tone without replaying the solo, so I can use this DI as the impetus for the recording and get exactly what I played before with a different tone, all I need to do is go into my preset here, and I'm using the factory default Rect Express preset and I'm going to right click here and add an input USB and connect this to the grid. So now what I'm doing is telling the AxeFX to listen to the input of the USB. And I'm going to assign this track's output to that USB's input. So I'm just going to go into the routing here and assign a hardware send. Any DAW is going to have the ability to do this, but it may look a little bit different than it does here in Reaper. And I'm going to set this hardware send to output 7, which is input USB block left, and output 8, which is input USB block right. So now this track is sending out to this USB input. So if I bypass this USB and I play this track soloed, you'll hear the DI. But if I go ahead and turn on this input USB, you'll hear the DI sent through the preset. And just to show you that what we're hearing here is literally this DI being sent through the preset in real time, I'll hit play and go ahead and change some of the effects so that you can hear that I'm actually reamping the tone live here. So the DAW is sending this DI signal out to the AxeFX. The AxeFX is processing that signal and then outputting it. So all we need to do to reamp this DI signal is to simply record arm our guitar track, and then we can hit record and change the tone in real time. Now, you may want to pick one tone and reamp it all the way through, or you could hit play and adjust the tone to fit your mix in real time while listening to the other tracks so you can mix your tone in real time. And just to show you how powerful live reamping truly is, I did not play this lead with a wah pedal originally, which you can of course hear. But I'm going to reamp it with a wah pedal. So I'm simply going to hit record, and as the DI plays through the AxeFX's preset, I'm going to use my wah pedal and re-record this solo 
with a Y. Let's check it out. So now I have a brand new take of this solo with a wah pedal included. So I'm going to bypass this input USB so we don't hear the DI going through this preset. I'm going to hit play and we can hear our solo with the brand new wah. So there's just one use case scenario for live reamping via USB with your Fractal Audio product. It really cannot be overstated just how powerful this feature is. You can live mix a guitar tone alongside your backing track. You can go back and replace a tone that you don't like. You can punch in on solos that have delay lines and then reamp them to get the delays perfect. There are so many different uses for reamping, and I hope you guys see that the setup is very, very straightforward. Now, some of you who are familiar with reamping in the AxeFX 3 or the FM9 or the FM3 may be wondering why I'm not setting my input one to globally listen to a digital output. I prefer to do this on a preset by preset basis because then you don't have to constantly switch back and forth between the digital and analog inputs when you're either recording or you're reamping. You can simply bypass or unbypass the input USB block, which I find to be a lot quicker. If you guys enjoyed this tip, please do make sure to comment below and let me know what you'd like to see on a future Fractal Friday. Make sure to subscribe to G66's channel, thumbs up this video, and as always, if you guys want to dive even deeper into your Fractal Audio unit, whether that's the AxeFX 3, the FM9, or the FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. And as always, for all things Fractal Audio systems, keep it right here on G66, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.